Kiss 95.1 exclusive, getting ready for Christmas party 2010. It's Jesse McCartney. What's up? What's going on, brother? I know you're getting ready for our big Christmas party, but what else you got planned for Christmas? Getting ready for the big holiday, man. I'm still trying to figure out what we're going to do. Shake's the big song, but why is your album coming out after Christmas? I need another the tree, man. I've been in the studio for the last, like, three, four weeks and came up with some new stuff that people are kind of excited about. So we're going to, I think we're going to hold off and wait till the new year. Most definitely. And, uh, you know, just kind of give, and hopefully give the fans some extra material since they have to wait. Have It All is the name of the album, and at this point in your career, you pretty much got that, right? I mean, it, you know, dude, I've been very fortunate. I have the most amazing group of fans that have been following my career for this long, and I do feel that way. I feel like I have everything I could possibly want. That being said, though, everybody wants something for Christmas. What would be, like, the ultimate gift somebody could get you this Christmas? Vacation, man. <laughs> Amen. Just a vacation. That's Just give me, like, ten days. That's Something it. tropical, an island. No. Actually, I want to go skiing. It's been like I didn't. I didn't really get to go last year. We 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 tried to. It was actually two years ago. We went to Utah and like last year I tried to to get away and didn't. And I'm a I'm a hardcore like big time snow skier. I grew up on skis my whole life. Snowboard? No, I don't. You know why, man? Because I didn't want to waste my time. Like the little time I did have on the mountain. Like, on my, you know, yeah. <laughs> on my behind the entire time trying to slide down the hill because I knew I wouldn't I wouldn't be good right off the bat. I almost broke my spine last time I tried, so I gave up on that, too. I'm a much better skier. Are you? <laughs> That's good, man. No, I, I, you got, skiers got to stick together. We're excited to be bringing you here for Christmas. Christmas Party 2010 coming up December 12th. Tayo Cruz. You ready, man? It's going to be ready. sick. It's going to be a great show, man. I actually have a, my last production rehearsal with my band and my dancers today, and then... Uh, we're getting ready to come see you guys. Definitely. Two for one right now at kiss951.com. Jesse McCartney, much love, man. Anytime, guys. Thank you. Excuse me, Jesse. <laughs> What's going on, man? How you been? I've been well, dude. Just been, you know, working, writing. Well, we're looking forward to having you for Christmas party, the 12th at the Fillmore, but I was listening to the O Show earlier today, and I heard that you're a skier. Yeah. Have you tried it on the water? Yep. I grew up on water skis, too. Right on, but I still think you should try snowboarding. Yeah, I mean, I, you know, I, I just can't bring myself. I wakeboard. That I can do, and I can, and I can surf, so I'd probably be all right, but I, I feel like I'm the, I'm, of all those things, I'm the, I'm the better snow skier of even on all those sports, yeah. so it's hard for me to really give it up, man. I just lo I like it too much. Plus, plus, I think there's more. I think skiing, even though I haven't tried the boarding, I feel like it's harder. There's more form involved. Like it's, it takes more to be a good skier. So you got your fourth studio album, have it all coming out. Yeah. Where did the title from that come from? Well, it was sort of a, it was sort of a feeling that I had one day. I woke up and was like, man, this is. This is like what every person dreams of, to wake up, go get your coffee, head to the recording studio, write with no pressure if you'd write something good or not, um, and make an album. And I've been doing it for, you know, six, seven years now, and it's my fourth record. And it's just uh, an overwhelming feeling, you know, that the fans have stuck by me the entire way um, through the big albums, through the not-so-big records. And, uh, you know, it's, it's just, it's humbling. And I think, you know, there's also a song on the album that I wrote called Have It All that uh, is sort of sort of a giving interpretation of the word. You know, you can have it all. So I noticed that uh, Kevin Rudolph and Sean Garrett both helped out on the album. Yeah, man, I got a, a, a crazy group of, uh, you know, lineup of writers and producers that I worked with, That uh, some of which I worked with on my last album, like Sean Garrett, like you said, and I did get in with Kevin Rudolph, who I was completely unaware of his production skills. I didn't know that he was, you know, a producer, or produced records for other artists, and he really blew me away. He was completely prepared. We met, sat down in a meeting, pulled up some tracks, and the rest was history. Yeah, he was just here a couple weeks ago he's badass yeah he's a, he's a cool guy all right so tell me what went behind the making of the song shake yeah man not i mean honestly not a lot i was i was in the studio it was one of the last records we recorded for the album um which seems to be the case i think in most um, a lot of artists will tell you like man it was a last minute record um and this truly was i was working with ammo and j cash these two up-and-coming writer producers that um j cash just wrote the we are who we are single for kesha and uh they both work under dr luke who's a you know big writer in the in the industry right now and ammo pulled up this track and I said this is great I said it reminds me it's sort of reminiscent of departure leaving days I said it'll be maybe a nice segue into the new album and uh, then we wrote the top line we wrote shake and it's a fun record you know it's uh, it's kind of a you know real fun kitschy pop mid-tempo record all right so i read that you toured with new kids on the block last year was that last year maybe it was a little longer ago but yeah hey online it said 09 maybe you're right it is it was 09 huh i guess it's almost 2011 did being on that tour make you consider rocking a rat tail <laughs> 
Because I know that was like big in their time. Yeah, I don't know, man. I I feel like I've I've honestly though, at least in L.A., I feel like it's coming back. I was walking down Melrose the other day, and I don't know what's going. Maybe they were just European. Or it was K Fed. <laughs> I sure hope that style does not come back. <laughs> that's just not going to fly with me. So I also read that you're going to do the voice of Robin on the Cartoon Network. Yeah, yeah. It just uh, it just actually premiered uh, last week. I play uh, play Ra- Robin in the Young Justice series. That's not the Adult Swim version, is it? Not Adult Swim, no Cartoon Network. But it's uh, it's pretty cool, man. I get to play one of the biggest action heroes in the uh, of all time of all the comics. I don't know if you were ever a comic fan growing up, but for me, it's a it's a pretty cool feeling. Right on, dude. We look forward to having you at Christmas party this year. Yeah. Yeah, dude, it's going to be great. We're really looking forward to it. I'm, I have my last rehearsal with my band today, and then uh, we're hitting the road tomorrow. So we're going to see you guys very shortly, the 12th, I think, right? You got it. We look forward to seeing you, buddy. Thanks for calling. Anytime, Crash.